Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video I picked the Sensorium Chapter 1 palette from Be Perfect Up from their TikTok shop. Um, it was £10 with 72 pence postage. This is the colour story. As many of you will know, I'm a huge fan of the Carnival palettes from Be Perfect um, in collaboration with Stacey Marie. Um, so yes, this is the palette. So did I grab a bargain? If you'd like to find out what I think of this palette, if I think it was worth the £10.72 and how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I've primed my eyes with the Be Perfect Perfect Prime Primer and I'm going to start with Paralysis, the black. I just want to see if it's a good black. Let me stop just stamping that right in this outer area. Well, so far it is looking like it is a nicely pigmented black. I do think that the black they have in the um, the new Carnival Interstellar um, is a bit better. It's more black, but this seems to be doing a pretty good job. I'm not bringing it far in, just as far as so here. And then flicking out the edges just a little bit so not as harsh. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking I just used a just a little Morphe pencil brush for that. And now what am I gonna head into next? I'm going to go in with Sombre and I'm going to take that on a Spectrum A12 and then I'm just going to use that just to go around the edges of the black hair just to blend it out a bit Anything. Not to turn around Yeah, see this palette, I hadn't, I, obviously I'd seen it, but it wasn't something I really heard anybody talking about. But when I saw it on their TikTok shop for £10, and with the vouchers, the postage was 72 pence, I had to give it a go. Um, so I do love Be Perfect's um, eyeshadow formula. I've got the Carnivals, I've got the XL Pro, the Love Tahiti, the Antidote, and now I have the Interstellar, and I do love them. I was intrigued to see whether or not the formula in this one would kind of match up to that of the, the Carnival palettes. They're nicely pigmented. Very nicely pigmented. See if you let go. Okay, so the next colour I'm going to go in with is Hallucinate, the purple map. And again, I'm just going to take this right on the edge. I'm taking a huge risk here as to whether or not they're going to blend nice and look nice. Oh, the wind is really strong here today. When you're not holding me, I can see it now. Hey, when I lose, but if I'm gonna lose you, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna... This path was actually going on beautifully. I don't think there's 
I don't think there's uh, any issue with it blending. I'm like, oh shit, I've been doing this a long time. Lost in my head, I don't care, I'm not gonna... Okay, so the next shade I'm going in with is Devoted. Apologies, the last brush I used was also a Spectrum A12. And now I'm going in with the P. Louise, what are you? Um, 112. And I'm just going to carry on going outwards with this shade. I'm not coming all the way in with this, just kind of to about here. Ooh, okay. This is a beautiful colour. I'm not mad at this. Okay. So yeah, the uh, the formula does appear to be the amazing formula that I'm used to from Be Perfect. So I think I'm now going to blend the edges out with Tranquil. And I'm taking that on a P. Louise, what are you, 115. And I think you can see. And then I'm just going to use that just to, just to blend out those very edges there. And gently just across the top. Just to blend it all out. Yeah, this is a beautiful soft colour, like a purpley pink, dusty pink. I am loving it. I will go in and blend a bit more, but I mean, already look at how well these shades are blending together. Impressive. I'm going to take some of the same shade just to blend out just this inner part. Because I do want that a bit softer. And the shade is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to lose this. Yeah. Kind of hate myself sometimes. Everything was on the line. Okay, so I'm just going to whip back through all of those shades, blend them a bit better, and then we'll continue. Okay, so now moving on to the shimmers. I'm first going to go into Autopsy. I'm dying to see what this looks like. I'm taking this on a little Morphe flat brush. I don't know how well it's picking up on the brush. I have had to wiggle around a little bit, but that's not the end of the world. Ooh. 
Look how this is pretty. This is really pretty. This is the kind of purples that I really enjoy. That's so nice. Okay, that is beautiful. I'm just going to try popping it on with my finger just to see if that's... Yeah, it does add a bit, a bit more. I think if you were to spray the brush though or use... Um, a glitter primer you would get the same same effect as using your finger and then for the inner part of my lid I'm going to go into sensation another one I've been dying to put on my eyes and I'm taking this on a Lois Cosmetics flat brush but let's, let's see what she looks like okay this one's quite Quite a flaky formula. So yeah, I think if you've done your base first, you would definitely want to use like spray your brush. But yeah, it's very flaky, but it looks stunning. I'm just gonna kind of smoosh it. Smoosh it into the other shade there. Oh, yeah, I'm loving this. I'm going to do the same with this one and go in just with my little finger there and see what difference is. Oh. Yeah, again, I think if you were to spray a brush or use a glitter primer, you would get this same effect. I've not used any, I've not sprayed my brush or used any glitter primer, just purely because I wanted to, I just wanted to see what the shimmers did on their own. So they don't need a glitter primer or to be sprayed but they do pack more of a punch when you do. Okay guys, so I'm gonna quickly nip off, clean up, pop some primer on my under eyes, and then I'll be back, so just a moment. Okay, so I've primed my under eyes again with the Be Perfect eye primer, and I am first gonna go into, am I, yes, Priory, <laughs> green down the bottom. I just want to try and use a few of these shades, just to see what result we get and um, I'm gonna drag it up a bit into kind of the bottom of the you know what I mean just dragging it up here a bit I am using um, a Jessup 226 smudger. One day I'll get better at naming all the brushes as I use them. I am trying to remember. I'm just not very, not very good at it. <laughs> I have a brain like a sieve. I am then going to go into Neuro, the bright green, and I'm taking that on an Artitude Cosmetics little fluffy brush, and I'm gonna take that just right over the edge there, keeping it nice and close. Also taking it up to blend out the bottom of the dark green up there too. This is beautiful. Now I love my greens. 
And this shade is so vibrant. It is beautiful. I'm, I'm very impressed with this shade. I am building it up a bit more because I do want I do want that brightness there. Okay, so I'm just going to take this tiny little P. Louise 143 and I'm going to go into serotonin, this kind of almost luminous yellow. And I'm going to take that right on this inner part here. Ooh. This is pretty. You can imagine packed on a white base. It would look amazing. I will try that at some point. But for now, it's just going here. That is stunning. That is stunning. Okay, I'm loving this. So bearing in mind, this is just over a, a normal eye primer. There's no white base and it is showing up beautifully. Wow. So in a corner and brow bone highlight, I think I'm going to go in with Cortex. This looks like it's going to be absolutely stunning. I'm using a Morphe M149. Ooh. Okay. That's pretty. It's got some shifts in this. Look at that. I will swatch this one and the other one like it in a moment because I'm intrigued. Okay, I'm just going to quickly swatch that. So there's Cortex. Oh. And the other one is Illusion, this one. So this is Cortex. Okay. Oh, that's like blue, pink. Ooh. And then we have Illusion. Oh, look at that. Oh, illusion is kind of more of a green iridescent. Look at those. Aren't they absolutely stunning? Okay. I'm going to pop a bit of the cortex under my brow here. On my brow bone. So pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna nip off, finish my face, and I will come back to show you the finished look and yeah, have a chat, let you know what my first impressions are of the Sensorium palette chapter one from Be Perfect. So if you'd like to see and hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Everything else I've popped on my face will be listed in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to. Um, so yes, the Sensorium Chapter One palette from Be Perfect has such a beautiful color story. There are so many different tones, different colors, different combinations you could do the possibilities are endless and the mattes are your beautiful 
Be Perfect formula, same as I'm used to from the Carnival palettes. The shimmers are stunning, in particular Cortex and Illusion, the two really shifty ones. Um, this shade surprised me, Autopsy. I thoroughly enjoyed playing with this. So yeah, was it worth the £10.72 that I paid to get this from the TikTok shop? A million times over, it is beautiful. I had so much fun playing with it. I love the eye look. Yeah, 10 out of 10. So yes, yeah, so I think we can safely say that this was a huge win for me and a huge bargain. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you're new around here, if you like to see colourful looks, um, indie brands represented, um, cruelty-free makeup, then please do hit the subscribe button. Come and join my beautiful chameleon family. It's wonderful. I'm biased, but it's wonderful. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day, evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.